Um, you all have the report in the packet, but I wanted to add a few things. Um, first, I'd like to introduce Nikki Lee. Stand up, Nikki has been hired as our new assistant city administrator and will begin duties on the 13th of November. Um, and she most recently comes from the city of Topeka, Kansas, where she's worked since 2014 mm -hmm. and currently is director of finance and administrative services. Yeah. Nikki also has experience in uh, the city of Olathe and uh, was in turn with Independence, Missouri. So she comes here with a lot of background and experience in um, economic development, budget, personnel, uh, finance, um, and general support. Court. Looking forward to having her on, on board with uh, the meeting for the last few minutes talking about some projects. Um, I want to particularly thank the mayor and Alderman Sarver and Wilson for their participation in the recruitment process and those interviews. Uh, we also had representatives from the EDC uh, involved in the process as well as uh, all department directors. So we appreciate everyone's assistance in, in identifying that he is our new assistant. So, welcome. Thank you. One other thing, I just want to update the board on, the mayor mentioned the uh, Old Fashioned Market this weekend and uh, actually Tony was in my office today uh, thanking the city for um, all the work of the city staff and, and working to make that work and uh, was particularly grateful for the work of, of the construction crew. Meg has just done a tremendous job, as, as we say every time, in, in talking about and working through um, special events downtown. Um, we did have a progress meeting on that project this morning, and I had indicated to you all, uh, I think last week or the week before, that we had identified pretty significant change order that will be coming forward with regard to the pavement. Um, HDR, the engineers for the project, have uh, been working on some engineering solutions and we discussed that at the progress meeting today. And staff, along with the contractor and HDR, were, had three options that we were reviewing. And we believe the option that makes the most sense will be to uh, basically remove the pavement completely down to the gravel base uh, from on Main Street, from basically between City Hall and the Chamber to commercial. And then bridge just south of that intersection with the intersection of Main up to where the first bump out will be uh, on that street. And then also the interchange, or excuse me, intersection at bridge and church, which is almost non-existent as we speak right now anyway. So all of that area will be completely removed and then a whole new roadway put in. The rest will be able to do overlay as we had anticipated. Uh, we'll have final numbers, HDR knows I'd like to get this on an agenda as soon as possible. We'll have final numbers to bring forward as a resolution, hopefully for your all's review next Monday at the work session. We're estimating between $100,000 and $125,000 for that. What that does, we do, we have a bit of project savings still from the projects that have been bid to date, but our bond proceeds, we had about $211,000 remaining after all of our projects came in that would be available for the next phase of Streetscape or our next project or issues that come up in the projects as they go along. So that's, that's where we would look to tap those funds. So we'd still be um, within the, the bonded amount. So we'll have that information for you all next week. And that's all I have for my report. Thank you. <coughs> Next on the agenda is item number six. <coughs> our report. May I move to approve bill number 2819-18, adopting the 2018-19 proposed budget for second reading. Thank you. Second. Second. Discussion? Alderman Hobart? Aye. Alderman Chevalier? Aye. Alderman Atkins? Aye. Alderman Sarver? Aye. Alderman Wilson? Aye. 5 0. Motion carries. Ms. Bagg, please be 
An ordinance adopting the fiscal year 2019 annual operating budget for the city of Smithville, Missouri, and authorizing the expenditures of funds for municipal services. Thank you. Mayor, if I may, just for a quick moment, I do want to thank you all for um, your review of the budget and um, assistance to staff in, in ensuring that, that we got that through. I particularly want to thank Dan for all of his work um, providing information to you all in a slightly different format than we've had in the past, and I think some very good information for review throughout the work sessions in the process of, of developing the budget. We will have a budget document here in the coming weeks uh, that we'll, we'll have to distribute to you all as well. So I'm um, excited about that information, but appreciate your all's efforts in that process, and particularly the and the department directors as well. Thank you. Are those cheese socks? <laughs> <They're converted slow. laughs> That's a red shirt, too. Those who don't know the answer, the bears <laughs> Okay, next item on the agenda is number seven. Auto Nelson. I move to approve bill number 2820-18, an ordinance to approve the transfer of Smithville's Municipal Court to Clay County Circuit Clerk, second reading by title only. Thank you. Alderman Second. Second by Alderman Sarver. Any discussion on the item? So, I'll say that I was originally 100% on board with doing this. Um, however, after speaking with a few folks this week, kind of maybe changed my mind a little bit and how I feel. Um, one of the main concerns I have really is that, you know, just outsourcing something um, away from Smithville to another place, you know, we're, telling, we're sending people away from here that would possibly come into town. Um, but then also, um, some folks had concerns that we might be adding extra burden for defendants um, for them to have to go an extra 20 minutes, 20, maybe even 30 minutes to, to deal with their issues. And um, so, kind of, I still think, you know, they're innocent until proven guilty, you know, should we really add an extra burden um, to how justice gets done? So, those two things are the main, main things I'm, I'm concerned with. Thank you. And I know this has been brought up uh, as well. I know a significant portion of our tickets are written to individuals outside the city limits as well. Um, Chief probably has those numbers for you. What are you doing? If, if you don't mind, Chief, correct me if I'm wrong on this. <coughs> I reviewed this information based on a question earlier, but we estimate between 20 and 25 percent of the tickets are written to Smithville addresses. So that's Smithville, excuse me, Smithville zip codes. So there's a portion of those that still may not be within Smithville. Uh, the other thing that, because you know, these are valid questions and concerns, one of the things that we've talked about is as we review the process, there are four jurisdictions that write tickets within the city limits of Smithville. Uh, the city, the county, the highway patrol, and park rangers, uh, or close to proximity of Smithville. Three of those entities are already going to Liberty and, and um, the Clay County Court. So people are going there already, depending upon who's writing their tickets. So that's kind of what's weighed down in, in our review of that. And not all those tickets go to court. And not right. all tickets go to court, that's correct. Is right. our police department still be able to take payments or absolutely. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. Yeah, no. <coughs> She wouldn't take payments, she would, no, she would not go to the clerk, but there's still, there would be an online option. There's still an be available to pay. I'm sorry, thank you very much. She, yeah, she would not take the payments, but there would be an online option that would actually process through the Clay County Court okay. system. And we don't have that today. I'm sorry. We don't have that today. <coughs> Correct, right? Yes. So that I don't speak out of Very good. Any other discussion? Thank you. Alderman Chevalier? No. Alderman Hurlburt? Aye. Alderman Wilson? Aye. Alderman Sarver? Aye. Alderman Atkins? Aye. 401. Motion carries this way. Please read the bill. An ordinance electing to have violations of municipal ordinances of the City of Smithville, Missouri heard and determined by an Associate Circuit Judge of the Circuit Court of Clay County pursuant <coughs> to section 473.040.1 of the revised Missouri statutes. Hey, next item on the agenda is item number eight. Alderman Evans. 
to make a motion to approve bill number 2821-18, clarifying term of municipal court judges. Second reading. Second. Second that. Thank you. Any discussion on this item? Clerk, please call roll. Alderman Atkins. Aye. Alderman Sarver. Aye. Alderman Wilson. Aye. Alderman Chevalier. Aye. Alderman Herbert. Aye. Five zero. Motion carries. Let's go ahead and do the An ordinance repealing ordinances one ten four zero term of office and one ten zero five zero vacation office relating to the office of municipal judge of the city of Smithville and enacting a new one ten zero four zero vacation office. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is number nine. Alderman Herbert. I move to approve bill number 2822-18, amending chapter 400, signed in the first reading. Thank you. Alderman Wilson. Second. Second. Alderman Wilson. <coughs> discussion on this item? Okay. Sorry, please call roll. Alderman Wilson. Aye. Alderman Sarver. Aye. Alderman Atkins. Aye. Alderman Herbert. Aye. Alderman Chevalier. Aye. Five zero. Motion carries. Mr. Chair, please do the An ordinance amending Chapter 400, zoning regulations, of the Smithville Municipal Code pertaining to various fees pertaining to signs. Thank you. Next item is number ten. Resolution 640. All in favor. Uh, motion to approve Resolution 640, uh, Gear Motor Drive Bid Award. Thank you. All in favor. Second. You said, well, there wasn't any discussion on this item. Okay. All in favor of approving resolution 640, say aye. 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 All opposed, say no. Motion carries. Next item on agenda number 11, resolution 641. All in favor, I move to approve resolution 641, award bid number 18-15, laboratory cabinets. Thank you. All right. Second the motion. Any discussion on this item? All in favor of approving resolution 641, say aye. 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 All opposed, say no. Motion carries. Next item on the agenda is number 12, resolution 642. All right. Robert. I move to approve resolution 642. Awarding bid number 1816 for fencing. Thank you. Alderman Wilson? Second. Second by Alderman Wilson. Any discussion on 642? All in favor of approving resolution 642 say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion carries. No public comment. Okay. Any new business for the board? <coughs> John, I'd like to work with Mike. It's not working. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Um, if there's no new business, I will uh, ask somebody to move to adjourn to executive session. I'll call I move to adjourn to executive session. Um, pursuant to section 610.021 uh, for the three of the revised statutes of Missouri. Thank you. Order Wilson? Second. Thank you. Clerk, please call roll. Alderman Coker? Aye. Alderman Schindler? Aye. Alderman Atkins? Aye. Alderman Sarver? Aye. Alderman Wilson? Aye. 5 0. Motion carries. Very good, exception.